first game, you know, there was a lot of excitement, a lot of nerves, um, and I think it kind of showed uh, in the first half, um, just kind of people settling in. For a lot of players, it was their first collegiate game, um, so kind of get that under their belt uh, was good. Uh, you know, I think we played, um, you know, play, played pretty well um, in both games. Um, I think Thursday, you know, they our focus was you know, on what we do and what we've been working on in practice. Um, and I thought, you know, both halves, we we maintain focus on those things. Uh, you know, we obviously, you know, defensively have been working on, um, you know, just staying, staying compact and defending as a team. And I thought we did that pretty well um, on Thursday. Um, and, you know, we created some opportunities off um, our press and, you know, I thought, you know, attacking wise, we created some really good opportunities, uh, you know, 26 shots on, on 26 shots. Uh, we definitely created a lot of opportunities. Now we just need to focus a little bit more on the finishing and that final product. Um, you know, on Sunday, I thought the same thing, um, you know, first kind of Thursday, Sunday, kind of two, two games close together. And, you know, I think fatigue and fitness played a little bit of a role on Sunday, um, you know, and, we still produce a lot of really good quality opportunities and I also thought our defending was actually much better on Sunday. Just kind of organ how we organized and um, you know just how our team defending we had a little bit more intensity um, you know getting numbers behind the ball and making sure we didn't make things easy for them um, in our middle the defending third. The first two games showed us um, you know, what we're capable of doing, and it showed us some things that we really will have to focus on this week going into the game at Baldwin Balls. So, you know, there was a lot of good this weekend, and you know, a lot of things that we just need to sharpen up and uh, continue to focus on this week at training. We interned with America's Scores last spring. They're a nonprofit um, that does after school programming with kids around Cleveland. They teach um, like writing and poetry and also soccer. So um, it was a pretty good fit for me um, getting to kind of work with the community because I grew up in Cleveland. Um, so I got to see a lot of the behind the scenes work. Um, that goes into um, nonprofit organizations. And then I also got to go out to the schools and coach soccer to a lot of really great kids, which was a really cool experience. But yeah, I got to continue to work with them over the summer, coaching some of their summer camps and things. And I know we're hoping to do some kind of cause game this fall, hopefully to raise some money and help support the organization. It was definitely a really eye-opening experience um, getting to work with with kids around Cleveland. We worked a lot with the Cleveland Municipal School District. Um, so, you know, kids that had not really been exposed to soccer before and like um, just growing up in a very like competitive soccer environment, it was a really it was really refreshing for me to be around um, kids that were just excited to to just be kicking a ball around. Like it wasn't about it being perfect or you know turning them into the next all star soccer player. It was just about you know really connecting with them and and finding you know that common passion for for a sport and for a game. And so I think. That was just really important for me. It's a lesson that you just keep learning. I found, um, but that, you know, everything in life, whether it's school, soccer, jobs, you know, you wanna find something that really makes you excited and just follow that. And um, for me, I'm a psychology major and obviously I've spent my whole life playing soccer. So I feel like quite confident now that I wanna pursue something that um, kind of involves both of those things, um, especially with the current climate of like mental health conversations around student athletes. Um, it's obviously something super important and near and dear to my heart. And so I'm not sure exactly what that looks like, but um, I was really glad to kind of 
relearn that lesson again in a, in a unique sort of way and bring that into my studies this fall in my final semester um, and also just this season, you know, really reconnecting with that that love of why we all started playing soccer and, and yeah, and just bringing that into every aspect of my life.